Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to Smash Factor TV once again. Today I'm going to help you with how to compress the golf ball a lot, lot better and get a much better movement and impact position um, as you go through the golf ball. All you need is a tree and a resistance band and I'm going to show you what you can do with this. It's a double whammy with this drill because number one, it'll help you to get your hands much more forward through impact but it'll also help you if you come over the top and swing from the outside. So let's go and have a look at how we're going to do this with some more game changing golf coaching. Okay, so with this video tip, this is something you could do at home, quite easy to set up. All you need is a tree with a branch or you could use um, a door if you're at home or pergola, anything like that. I've just used a, a resistance band here. I've just um, hooked it around the tree and just pulled the resistance band through it. So now I can pull against the tree and it's not going to come loose. So that's really all you need to get set up. Okay, so we're going to look here at how to help you to be more powerful through impact and how to create more compression as you swing through. So all I'm going to do here, I'm just going to hold on to the resistance band. I could do this just with my right hand and then put my hand on. I could attach the resistance band if I wanted to to the handle of the club or I could use it in my left hand. doesn't matter which way, but you're going to get two um, this is kind of a double whammy, if you like, with uh, drills, because if you're someone who comes over the top as well, this is massively going to help you with this. So what we're going to do, we're going to stand away from the tree so we've got tension in the resistance band here. So I can swing back without hitting the tree there. And as I swing back down, what I can now work on is transferring the pressure into my left foot, but I want to pull that resistance band now, two things here. I'm pulling the resistance band so the handle of the club. I'm not letting the club head overtake the handle of the club. So I want to pull the handle of the club, feel that resistance, turn my body to help me get the resistance band out to the right here, rather than leave the resistance band behind and then just flick the club head through. So this is really gonna help me get into a, a much better position to compress the ball. I've got my hands forward here, got my body really turned and having that resistance in will make you uh, use those bigger muscles in the core. Now, the reason this is a double whammy on this drill is if you come over the top, looking from down the line here, you would make more of this movement. And now you've got the club caught up in the uh, resistance band here. So we're going to go to the top, transfer the pressure into the left foot. If you're a right handed golfer, we want to pull the resistance band. So you're turning your body to pull the resistance band to the left, but you're keeping the shaft and the club head behind that resistance band as you come in. So you're now starting to create much better position here with the hands forward and uh, the club head hitting from the inside. It'll really help you if you do come over the top or you release the club head a little bit early. You don't get that turn in your body as you go through but brilliant drill to help you get the feeling of how that downswing needs to improve. It's another game-changing golf tip. 